Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for watching Tactical Weapon Combat Ready. In this video, we are going to be talking about these backup sights uh, from Strike Industries. So it's the Strike Polymer Backup Sights. So let's get to it. So with these backup sites, um, it is sitting, I mean, it reminds me of the, uh, what is it, Magpul, um, they're kind of second generation sites. So similar to that, um, especially this front sight post. So we have our uh, elevation uh, adjustment right here, um, pretty typical. And then on the rear sight, uh, this one is a little bit different, uh, where we have the uh, night and day sight. So we actually just push down on that, and now we have the nighttime sight. So it has the larger uh, peephole sight, and then we have the daytime, which is smaller. So you're going to be more accurate uh, with that one, just because the smaller that hole is, uh, the more precise you have to be to line it up with that front sight post. Uh, so you do have those options, and that is a little bit of a unique uh, way of uh, flipping that uh, back and forth. So typically when you have something like that, um, a lot of times it just comes like this, and you just flip this up or down. So that's kind of the standard right there. So that is pretty unique. That's, that's interesting there. Um, the base on these polymer sites are going to be steel. So we are going to have a very strong, firm uh, mounting system on here. So it looks like on this side. So this is polymer right there. And then we have steel on that side. Let's see what it is over here too. So it's steel on the uh, right side of the rifle. And then, yeah, it looks like it's plastic polymer on the left side and then the hardware so like the adjustment that's steel um, and then the pins that are holding it all in which um, most polymer flip-up sites do have the uh, steel pins in them so on the right side here these are steel so that is going to give us a little bit more of a, a strong firm base to uh, mount them on now they do fold down they are held into place with a a locking or detent pin and they hold in place fairly well so it is snug but it's not so tight that it is hard to flip them up and down so we don't have any kind of spring mechanisms or anything like that to push and they pop up on their own so we do have to manually push up on these sites now something that it has that is also unique is we have um, backup sites to the backup sites so we can see the rear sight post would line up with that front sight post. Um, so that is uh, unique. The only thing is um, when I'm shooting, uh, I can't line up with those because it, it's set up for you to be able to see through here. So with your buttstock, this is on its lowest setting. That lines me up with these sights. Once I fold them down, I can't really get any lower than it already was in order to line those up. So I don't understand where that is going to come into play and actually be useful. So if I have them up, so right there, so I have a good cheek weld and ready to shoot. But once I go down with them, I can't. So right now I'm able to line them up if I'm shooting like this, but anywhere in here, can line it up if I do this. <laughs> so if I'm like, like that. So, but if I'm doing any kind of regular cheek weld, can't really get it. So, and I guess in a pinch, you're desperate. I mean, you just come down and do that. But in general, just as you know, polymer uh, backup sights, uh, they are really nice. Uh, I just don't know what the point of having that there is because the, they seem kind of useless for for the purpose that i'm using for anyway um unless i don't know maybe 
put it on an AK where it is a little bit lower back here. But then at that point, then that means you're going to have to have a higher, you're going to have to have your head a little bit higher up here in order to line it up with the main uh, or the primary sight. So I don't know. Um, I'll look into that a little bit, I guess. But um, that's going to do it for this uh, video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.